Welcome back to Morning Baraka, and this is a nutrition portion of portions. We are going to make a date smoothie this morning. Date smoothie. Brother Bilal is going to make it. Looking forward to. And um, looking forward to this date. Yeah. Smoothie. So, shall we? Um, what, what are the ingredients? Firstly, what are you going to put in oh, the right. smoothie? So we've got a, a quart of. Well, I, I, I'm so habitual with the ingredients, but. Check the Facebook page for the details. We'll just, okay. we'll just, so we'll just go and let adjust. Me, let adjust. me just tell the viewers that um, this is for weight gain, actually, rather than uh, weight management loss. Um, so weight gain. So there must be things in there that are obviously going to help somebody who perhaps needs to put on a few pounds. Hmm. Um, is that does that affect a lot of people? I mean, you always talk this thing, hearing on you know sort of the news and current affairs how obesity is you know taking place but what's the sort of proportion of people that actually need to gain weight no I'm d gain people that weight. need to gain weight are definitely in the minority but there are some who need to gain weight they mm. some that need more specialist intervention because they have like eating disorders specifically you know like anorexia and bulimia things like that yeah. putting those to the side there are some people just as high metabolisms and they for well, example don't yeah. take care of themselves in the sense of they may neglect that aspect to them you know you know yeah. people that work hard demanding lifestyles but they don't take care of their nutrition what so they're not people eating people that perhaps not feeling well sort of through sickness, oh yeah through illness even. as well yeah yeah oh, there are people with different medical conditions that yeah. may require them to have a and those type of people we always would say to them seek medical intervention speak to a specialist a nutritionist mm, right a dietitian okay. that can prescribe you you know could they can do a full assessment and then mm -hmm. prescribe you detailed tailored you know meal plans and things right. of that nature this is not what we're doing here we're just so what are you putting promoting in this oh this is a vanilla Ooh. vanilla 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 yogurt okay. sometimes we use plain yogurt but for this one yeah in particular we have the vanilla yogurt so very nice if you like vanilla a date date smoothie the date smoothie oops here we go right so you've added milk and there is that milk? ordinary milk um, half as in cow milk yeah normal okay. cow milk and for, as I said I've said we, we s you know people with uh, intolerance yeah um, to dairy you can use almond or there's, there's always various alternatives yeah okay so we have one banana right which we shall add bananas are really cool fruits I find them to be like slow release of you know mm. the nutrition and so it's not really a affects you especially if they're not brown and speckled but they have more sugar in them and then that can affect your, your your blood sugar levels if you eat that type of banana but and particularly know, early in the morning to be careful with those right. if you're if you're trying to monitor your blood sugar for whatever reason then mm. you know but you know speckled brown bananas make really good cakes they're super sweet though they yep, are super they good too, if you like cakes. the sweetness not that we're talking about cakes in this show no 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 but they are very um because they're rather than throwing them away obviously we're not recommended to waste food in a storm no, no. so Sometimes People make different loaves. They make different loaves, don't they? Yeah. Of um, excuse me, some type right, of. Right. So you're adding your bananas. We do. We do. We do. And, and now we just need the chopped dates and a cup of water. All right. And they look like the medjool dates, right? Quite big. They're massive. They are. Whoop, whoop. Hey, but okay. that's live TV, man. You know. So All you're right. going to chop those? Yeah. Uh, D dates are again something that's very recommended. Okay. We'll leave that there. We'll chop them up, cut them up. <laughs> so it's interesting seeing somebody chop dates up. Although this is what the blender's for, so when uh, uh, right, my chopping okay, will be minimal true. because that's the whole point of having the, the blender. So, okay. But it's fun. It's fun. So know. generally, if somebody was trying to gain weight, uh, eating a few dates a day is that rec a good sort of natural way to gain yeah. weight? And you step up a little bit on your carbohydrates as well. Right. That's one way as well. You know, like some people say, um, you just reverse like when you're, you know, you you cut down on your carbs because you're mm. trying to lose weight. So mm. you just have a little extra. You know, where you might use olive oil, you could say, all right, I'll have a little butter. Mm. The things that you cut out to lose weight, you just add a little. You don't yeah. have to go mad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it's excessive, you know? isn't it? Not to go excessively yeah. Yeah. one way or the other. Okay, then. And uh, I think if people adjust their, their food intake um, little by little, they, they'll see the changes as opposed yeah. to like doing anything drastic. And then what about exercise? Is oh, exercise is always there. Good way to gain weight? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Cardio, vascular tends to be something that people do to either, you know, get their heart rate moving and, you know, keep fit, keep the heart fit. Mm -hmm. But um, resistance training, you know, exercising with weights or your body weight, press ups or different types of, of um, training 
physical activity training can help you to, to bulk up. You know, nothing like the deadlift, as they call it, mm -hmm. in weight training to all over body exercise to, you know, get you, get you in good shape. And so there's um, yeah. Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said that when you... Um, it's oh narrated yeah, and have by him. plenty of small meals to keep, keep the weight up as well. Plenty okay. Of small meals. So he, the Holy Prophet has said that it's always important to try to have, make wuzu, keep wuzu um, when you're eating and to face the Qibla. So... We're kind of that way, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are. Um, so that's a what, cur the courtesy of, yeah. of dining or eating. And again, it's actually sharing food is very, very recommended. To eat with others, it brings barakah to the food, yeah. to yourself. And, and I think Islam focuses a lot about sharing, doesn't it? The sharing you know, is caring. Um, you, you would share with people if you care about yeah. them. Or, or if you didn't and you, you shared, it would, it, would in, it, would in, um, it would increase your capacity yeah. to share, right? But I think even um, the hospitality, I, I was reading a hadith last night about... Um, I just added a, a bit of extra water. All right, so just adding water, okay. So um, a group of people came to visit the Holy Prophet. Um, he was busy in his supplication and prayers. Um, and so his companions, the Prophet's companions, um, sat the, the guests down. And after a while, the, um, the guests said, well, we, we didn't realize that he would be preoccupied. And we'll say as salam, mm -hmm. and we're leaving. And then, so when the Pro Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, went to see the guests, um, uh, went to his companions, and then he said, they narrated that some guests had come, and he was quite upset that they hadn't offered food to them. Mm. Um, and so that's when you just think, you know, the emphasis on, you know, being hospitable, serving your guests, and, you know, so you're going to serve this smoothie to me. Inshallah. And, and when you think about Muslim um, yeah. communities and societies, food plays a big role, it isn't does, it? Eating yeah. together. Yeah. I think it's a new phenomenon of the kind of microwave, my meal and my own yeah. in front. Of, you know, Muslim center, we tend to come together yes. and share, right? Yeah. Whether, whether we're on a hajj or ziyara or whatever kind of activity or just at home, somebody knocks the door and we're about to eat. Absolutely. It's a shame to tell the guest, oh, we're actually having dinner. It's a bad time. Absolutely. It's more like an ideal time. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. you know. When I was when I was a, a child, many bachelors mm. would knock around dinner time with the, the, the you know the yeah. friends and associates of the family would. It seemed to I didn't understand as a kid. These guys were always popping around, just yeah. around, but we'd have a table, right? And um, so they were always welcome. You yeah, know? definitely. Right. Here it goes. Wish me luck. So your dates are hopefully gonna have they a good they crush in yeah, there. Yeah, they will. So apparently dates are quite mentioned quite frequently in the Quran. Yes. Um, so inshallah will be a, a nutritious. Yeah, the dates smoothie. and in the sunnah of the al bit, you know, to, even if you're you don't have you know sufficient funds to cook a big spread, but you're gonna offer somebody to uh, mm. break fast. Mm. You know, even if it's a date or some water, you know, the dates are always mentioned lo lots of different contexts, right? I think nutrition. Is very, uh, Good for pregnant women as well. The energy levels, okay. yeah. So you wouldn't know about that, but yeah, for women. Yeah, yeah. I, th also for, I think nursing mothers as well yeah. is quite helpful, right? Yeah. I wouldn't normally do it this much, yeah. but because of dates, you know, they, they have a certain type of consistency. You want to make sure they give it a little extra. Mm. And you have you have the bananas as well, don't you? So. Okay, so I can't wait. I can't so wait. So, what kind I'm of so smoothies do you do you make? You know, when you make your own, do you, what do you tend to go for? Ones like I this, or I tend to keep it simple. I use a lot of um, porridge, oh, porridge right. and banana and stuff like that, because I tend to use the smoothie for a pre-workout meal. Mm -hmm. Makes me sound like a gym fanatic. I yeah. don't train that often. Okay, and, but. It is a it is my downtime. Yeah. And so uh, do you not have a, so when you say you have a routine, you come home, and somebody doesn't have time to eat a meal before they go for the gym. This is an ideal sort go. of substitute. Yes. And then you'd come home after the gym and have a meal. Or yes, or sometimes to make um, sometimes I train at home, and what I'll do is because you said time is of essence, so you can. What I tend to do is smoothie, porridge, banana, so on and so forth. Make this high protein, um, high carbohydrate meal. Yeah. But I know I'm going to exercise. Mm -hmm. I'll take that and maybe go shopping or go out and do something else mm. in between because you can't train straight away. So give yourself a couple of hours, yeah. and then come back, boom. Okay. So in terms so of when you want to gain weight, um, yeah, yeah. What kind of sort of is that? Is it good for people to regularly eat? Uh, yeah, regular small meals. Your brown rice, your sweet potato. I still say, although you want to have extra carbs. Try and go for that, like what they call the healthy carbs, the brown rice, the, the quinoa, the uh, 
sweet potatoes, these yeah. type of carbohydrates, okay. maybe even some some of your starches like your yams yeah. and things like that, as opposed to polished white rice or bread and so these that type of sugars. Tend to put the weight on in the wrong areas. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't, um, th not flattering yeah. type of areas. Oh. Yeah. So here goes. Okay. Let's see, brother Polosk. Your magic hands are made. Looks quite, um, looks good. There we go. So, date smoothie coming up. One date smoothie coming <laughs> up. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to just go for this. Bismillah. That's really good. Really good. Wow, I actually that's really quite do sweet like as well. Yeah. That's quite sweet. It's, it's cool. Well. I like it's cool. it. <laughs> it's not too. That's one Great. that I would, I would probably make. It's probably healthy for people who have a sweet tooth, mm. but you're trying to get away from the chocolates, the candies, yeah. the, the sweet sweets. It's still... So not your Oreo milkshake and just... No, no. We, we've had a request for that. We, we might have to explore that <laughs> <laughs> in the next episode. No, that's really, that's really tasty. And I think you can... There's not a taste that's actually too overpowering in this. Um, it's, it's an even mix, isn't it? It's an even mix. You can taste a little banana. You can taste a little bit of the uh, dates the vanilla yogurt it's all I it's all it's the there yogurt it's all there the balance the yogurt and the, and the banana yeah and you can't tell the date actually and these are really cool mm. like really good foods not too much processed added sugars but like these are natural sugar the dates have their own natural sugar yeah and even milk has lactose you know has its own natural sugar as well so no need to then a lump in a spoon of, of brown sugar or any and, and too much additives but we, we did bend the rule a little bit or was it a bit flexible with the mm. vanilla yogurt why you know? well you've said previously that yogurt's not too bad so what would it be in the vanilla version that you're saying it's not so no j just to taste you know just to give it a different taste to the, to the plain yogurt mm. for so for more for the con okay. consistency yeah. so what else would you recommend somebody who wants to gain weight what kind of other foods and we've obviously made a smoothie here but what would be the sort of ideal kind of food to eat that's yeah so food uh, food wise I, w I would look at things like brown rice a little bit extra brown rice a um, little bit extra sweet potato some of the starches mm -hmm. um, you don't need to cut off the trim you know that sometimes they advise you to trim the meat because of the oh fats yeah. and the fats you know like cook the meat if you're cooking some beef or whatever That's go for okay. it go for it yeah so if you have a chicken the weight on it where it might be unsightly or anything that mm. would even say for example a uh, one time they used to say remove the skin off the chicken yeah if you're trying to put on weight the chicken you know the natural animal fats are quite healthy right. they are okay. quite healthy yeah yeah, yeah, right. yeah. so then and is it better for people to so we're obviously encouraged to eat in proportion that is yeah. actually I just might make sure i add that in okay but so healthy fats in proportion are good for your, your so system. is fried um chicken Good. Less than ideal. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you'd have to still cook it in a healthy way. Yes. Which would be sort of grilled or oven grilled, roasted. Grilled, oven roasted, yeah, oven baked. That's fine. That's fine. And um, anything that you'd recommend? That's sort of like a nice recipe, quickly? Um, stew chicken. Stew, stew chicken is one of my favorites. Stew that? chicken is, is just. It's some secret ingredients that I couldn't I couldn't disclose, but well, I we need to let our viewers know. They might want to mix two chicken. But if they ever, if the viewers ever um, mm. have a chance to go to a Caribbean restaurant, and right. it's a halal Caribbean restaurant, yeah. it's brown stew chicken. Do we have a halal in London? It's, there's one in South, There's two in South London I know of. Okay, well that's really good. And what else from the Caribbean cuisine? Uh, you have got jerk chicken. You've got pepper steak. Oh wow! Akin sawfish. I'm getting my stomach. Green rumbling. bananas, which you have, you don't have them like a sweet green bananas is boiled and you know, okay. have them with savory. Is it quite healthy, Jamaican? Mm, some, Caribbean some aspect like you mm. know your, your oxtail and butter beans. Some of the foods are healthy, and then you know some are a little bit, you know, a little bit. Okay, you know. well then it's good to have the varieties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, oh, thank you so much. That was actually very delicious, and um, the recipe will be on the Facebook page. Absolutely. So Shout to Allah to Allah. Yeah, uh, to right. get the exact ingredients. Brilliant. Thank you so much once again. Most and um, next up we have politics and